Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, let's take a look at the build quality and weight of the new Apple credit card, the titanium credit card, which is on the top, as well as the American Express Platinum card, which is on the bottom. The Apple card is made out of titanium and the American Express Platinum card, I believe, is made out of a stainless steel, although there are some rumors that it is made, may be made out of titanium. American Express does make their Centurion card, which is the black card. That one is made out of titanium and there is some rumors that they just plug that you know, in, through the same sort of process uh, and the platinum card may be titanium, but they don't advertise it as such. Uh, so it may be stainless steel. Um, both of them have some kind of a coating on them. You know, they're not the raw metal. So the Apple card and the American Express Platinum have a coating on them. And I've put a little piece of post-it note paper here just to cover up the four digit security code on my American Express um, Platinum card. And I put an equal amount of uh, paper on the Apple card just so that you know, we're kind of playing with a level playing field here. Although both of those little slips of paper did not affect the weight of the cards, you know, pretty much at all. Uh, I won't show you the back of the platinum card because that has my full credit card number, but I can show you the back of the Apple card. So let's see, putting it on the scale here, you can see the Apple titanium card measures 0.4 of an ounce. So just under half an ounce, really pretty light. Now let's go ahead and compare that with the American Express platinum card. And you can see on the scale, it's kind of uh, hovering around 0.6 of an ounce and 0.8 of an ounce. Now this scale has a accuracy of only 0.2 of an ounce. So, you know, the American Express Platinum card probably weighs somewhere between 0.6 and 0.8, maybe 0.7 of an ounce. So it's definitely a little bit heavier than the Apple card for sure. And, uh, you know, but part, part of what you're seeing on the scale here, it's moving between 0.6 and 0.8 of an ounce just because it's sort of testing the uh, accuracy. If I put it there again, you can see it's measuring 0.8 of an ounce. So it just kind of depends on where you place it on the scale. So it is a little bit heavier, the American Express Platinum. And also that's the same kind of thing where if I feel them in my hands, the titanium Apple card definitely feels a, a bit lighter and, you know, just a little bit nicer in the hand. The American Express Platinum card is a little bit heavier. Let's test the thickness here. They don't really look uh, that much different in terms of thickness, but the Platinum card on the right is slightly thicker, just ever so slightly thicker, um, but not by a whole lot. So you know, if you put them right next to each other, especially look right down the middle there, it's really hard to discern much difference in thickness there. But again, the American Express Platinum card on the right is definitely a little bit thicker. So yeah, um, the Apple card is just a really nice design, really sleek, thin. And again, that one is for sure titanium, whereas the American Express Platinum, I'm not 100% sure if it's titanium or stainless steel or what it is. Um, there are, again, there are rumors that it may be titanium um, just because, but they're not saying that because the Centurion card is definitely advertised as being titanium. And of course they wanna sell people on that card. You know, people can uh, get authorized for that, you know, and apply for it. But anyway, they are, I think both look really cool. Both cards look really cool. Um, you know, let me know in the comments, uh, aside from the different, you know, cash back offer and, and travel offer and points offer, let me know in the comments which card you think actually looks cooler. The American Express Platinum showed here on the top or the uh, Titanium Apple credit card shown here on the bottom. Which one do you think looks cooler? Let me know. Thanks for watching.